On this first full business day of the new year, Governor Christie's on the radar, and for a number of reasons, he's hitting the road again, attending the inaugurations of Republican governors he supported, and perhaps generating support for a presidential campaign he hasn't announced, all the while dodging denunciations for being a Dallas Cowboys fan. Our chief political correspondent, Michael Aaron, is keeping track of it all. What do you make of this, Michael? I think it's much ado about nothing. Uh, Which part? The Dallas Cowboy The thing? Dallas Cowboy <laughs> part. Uh, Chris Christie was on WFAN with Boomer and Carton for 20 minutes this morning saying, I've been a Cowboys fan since I was seven years old. Now, when you become governor of New Jersey, are you supposed to switch your allegiance to the Giants, which would only anger Eagles and Jets fans and vice versa all the way around? Uh, I think all this really proves is that not many people other than Chris Christie, can put on an orange sweater, go to a football game, and make news. Right. I understand there are some ethical questions, though, surrounding his having gone to the game. Well, this morning, a publication called International Business Times raised the question of whether Christie's attendance may have violated state ethics laws if he accepted a free ticket, because apparently, according to the ethics laws, you can't accept a gift from someone who has been the beneficiary of state government, and the NFL has been a beneficiary through the Super Bowl and through uh, practice fields and so on and so on. But this afternoon, the governor's office responded by citing something called Executive Order Number 24, which uh, Jim McGreevy promulgated, which said governors can accept gifts from family and personal friends, and Dallas Cowboy owner Jerry Jones, according to the governor's office, qualifies as a personal friend. Let's get right to the prospective presidential run. Do you think we'll get any confirmation of that this month? I don't know. There are probably only a handful of people who know. I, I was talking to someone very close to the governor over the holidays uh, who I said, uh, can we expect an announcement soon? And he said, there's no urgency, which led me to believe March or April might even be okay with them. But there is some urgency because there's early money and early mention as soon as a, as a campaign is announced. Early money, I think, is more important than early mention. Uh, he's Chris being Green, mentioned anyway. He's right? being mentioned anyway. He's a known quantity. He's, he's in all the paragraphs of likely, uh, nom likely candidates. Um, so the money is a real... Thing. I think maybe his team is waiting to see what the U.S. attorney does with the Bridgegate investigation so that they can wrap their campaign opening, if they do run, a around that in such a way as to deflect uh, attention from it. Meantime, he's traveling around to various gubernatorial inaugurations. Uh, tomorrow, he's scheduled to be in Florida to attend the inauguration of Governor Rick Scott, whom he helped considerably through the RGA. The following week, he delivers his State of the State address in Trenton. Uh, the week after that, uh, he is going to Maryland for the inauguration of Larry Hogan, another Republican he helped. And then he's going to Iowa at the end of the month for a conservative conference attracting a number of, of presidential candidates. That just happens to be in the caucus state. Just happens to be. Thank you, Michael Aaron. Thank you, Mary Alice.